Hi, Floss, Hi, Floss tube. tube. Today is um, May 19th. This is Floss Tube number 19. I'm Casey. And I'm Dara. And we're Floss Tubing from the vehicle. Right. So, we're actually at my house, <laughs> but my husband is in there having his own personal concert while cleaning the bathrooms. And we just don't want to interrupt it. And at least he's cleaning. He's cleaning. So we came out in the car. I think Casey said that um, the get together Oh yes. For the Southern California Stitchers was Friday of last week, but it's not. Or Saturday in Palmdale, California at the Yard House in the mall parking area. It's going to be the fourth Saturday. We are aware that that is Memorial Weekend. So if you guys have nothing to do, that's great. Come join us. We will be there. Um, did she give us a time? Uh, I think it opens at 10. So we're going at 10? Yeah, we're going at 10. We'll be there at 10. A um, couple hours of stitching and lunch. Sounds good to me. We'll definitely be there along with Lisa Roscom. So we hope to see you guys there. Um, Next. Also, uh, if you go to Southern California Stitchers, it's posted. Yeah, they put up they the post. They post. And I'll go ahead and post that picture as well so you guys can see the post of it. Do you have any FFOs? I do. Okay. Let's see it. I have the Brenda Gervais June Wordplay. <clears throat> I, um, I'm in that, what is Cross it Cross Stitcher's Journal and Daily 30 Sal by Tranquil Stitcher. It's a group she started on Facebook. And um, so I did this one. You had to do something with a tree. And so I thought, well, that's not really a tree. But it, you could do something that was green. So I did a green. And then there was one that you had to something that made you happy and june reminds me of nice warm summer, weather summer <laughs> warm weather that we're not having right now right so i got it fully finished i even have it done in the back she is ready it's to just, hang it up for june and not a moment too soon okay any fo's okay well i brought my wally because Tranquil Stitcher made mention in her video that I never showed my Wally. It's not fully finished, but it is a finished object. Um, some of you guys have seen this in the previous video, but I just wanted to get it out again. Here is Wally and Eve, Ave, Ava, whatever, however you pronounce it. There they are. So I'm cute. Still not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but it's done, kinda. <laughs> All right, what's next? Do you whips. have whips? Yes, I have a whip. Okay, let's see your whip. Okay, so if you guys follow us on Instagram, you have seen me working on it. Here is March. I have got quite a lot done. Again, on the Tranquil Stitchers Facebook group, she um, one of the challenges was to use green. So it's not 100 stitches worth of green because there's not 100 stitches on this. But you didn't have to. You just had to do something. Green, yeah. Right. But I mean, I didn't do 100 oh. stitches. I just, right. but I've been working on it. So there's that. And then... That's the only whip I have. Okay. And the only two things that I was working on was June. And then I've been working on my Let Freedom Ring. Oh, and so. Back this sucker up. There we go. <laughs> and so I got, I've gotten quite a bit done. The but the I'm kind of sad because when I went to put this in, I started off of this and it wasn't right. So. I started off with the bell and did it. I'm thinking I'm going to have to take all that out and redo it because it's off two, two stitches. I think she's lost her ever-living mind. So, not sure, but I think I might have to. But Again, she's <laughs> lost her ever-living mind. I would not be ripping out so that's, all of that. <laughs> that's my whip. And then... Um, Friday, Lisa and I went to a um, quilt shop, and they had they were showing you how to use uh, like Copic markers, but they're called Tombos, and they're liquid, or the liquid in it is water, not. So it's a water-based marker rather than an alcohol-based like a right. Copic. <laughs> alcohol base is just going to run on your fabric, right. literally. However, the Tombos are a water base that stay put wherever you put them. So, so this is what I chose to work on, and I'll I think she's a, really cute. I'll insert a before so you guys can kind of see where she's at, and then also I'll do this. I'll show you the shop model. 
but this is what mom has colored. So all done. You um, Once you get done with it, you put make a sandwich out of it and then you quilt it and you quilt on the line um, all the black. So it's really cute when it's done. I just like the vintage little girl. Yeah, I think she's super cute. been doing for the last week something different yeah um, okay so then do you have any haul nope, other do. than my <laughs> my tombos that I got <laughs> oh yeah I've got a handful of tombos back here I'm gonna just pull them up mom got a whole handful of them and using her micro pins on this as well or micron <clears throat> rather um, but I will show you guys I got a new pattern um, thought it was super cute. I love the lady that showed it on display. She showed it. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> as a shell. Like she cut it out and finished it as a shell. I'm sure some of you guys have seen this one. There it is. So I um, got onto 123 Stitch and I bought all the DMC that goes with it along with uh, this is 38 count even weave. It's called. Oh, yeah. 36 count e uh, even weave white so that's what it is and then I'm going to put this one on it I really like this pattern I think it's really cute and just something simple looks like nanny it does look like my grandma a lot like my grandma and her birthday's coming up on June 11th I don't so know if I can maybe. stitch that way <laughs> we'll see um, anyway that's all I bought so then what do we plan on working on next week so I got this and I brought, took it out thinking, okay, I'll put this one together, but it's on linen, so I need my headlamp and stuff. So I didn't bring that when I came out, so I didn't get to work on that. And then there's one more, the, um, yeah. This one is the Lucy, um, the Queen of the May for 2019. I wanted to start working on that one also. I'm going to at least put the borders in. Wow. And it's also linen. So yeah. it's going to take me a little bit to get that one done. So, so that's about it. You want to put the borders on both of these? Yes. And then can rip out your freedom? Maybe. Oh, you've lost your mind. I'm good. I'm not ripping anything out this week. Mm -mm. You guys can have that frog wherever he is right now because he's <laughs> not coming to my house. Well, I'm hoping he doesn't stay at mine too long so yesterday i went to hurricane harbor which is a water park here in southern california it's hooked to our six flags um roller coaster amusement park um with the girl scouts we had a blast i am exhausted my throat hurts it's probably what, well how cold is it we can say it. it's, it's 61. 61 we out right now we got jackets there's clouds everywhere it's snowing less than an hour from us like, so it's just crazy out. Mother Nature is having a moment. But and when my mom was born in 1938, and she was born June 11th, it snowed. It snowed. So, so, maybe it's time for us to get some snow in June. I'm half thankful. At least if it stays cooler, that means we'll have a shorter summer. Right. And my tortoise came out about a month ago when it was in the 70s and 80s. But he's back hiding. But he's hiding. back hiding. It's too <laughs> cold out for him now. So yeah, it's, it's cold. It's windy. The weather yesterday was horrible to be in a water park, but you know, the girls were so excited. So in the water park I went, knowing that I shouldn't have because I didn't feel good. Yeah, and the reason they got to go is all these 14 little girls, they sold over 500 boxes a piece. 500 boxes of cookies a piece. So. It's a lot, but it they is. deserve it. They earned it. And, and they think it's the coolest thing to see me get in a raft and <laughs> drown myself. And I think that, didn't they shut the whole park down oh, just yeah. for the they Girl Scouts? They just the girl for the Girl Scouts. They rent out the park. Um, we get full on. It's like full service. They have the um, ice cream men out. And if you want an ice cream, you just walk up to him and tell him what you want. It's all inclusive. Uh, barbecue lunch. They do like tri-tip sandwiches. Like full barbecue lunch. 
Um, they also have all the uh, chicken nugget stands, the hot dog stands. Each one of them has something different. If you're interested in a hamburger, it's one side, you know, chicken nuggets is another. Um, but yeah, the coolest thing the girls think is awesome is it's like all you can eat ice cream <laughs> all day long. And I swear they take full advantage of that. And um, I think I ate like six drumsticks yesterday. <laughs> that goes with their keto diet. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, what else do I have to say? What have we got going on this week? We have two baseball, baseball games. Game. Yeah, we have two, two of those. Hopefully some stitching. A lot of stitching, I hope for. Um, I sent out all my project bags that I owed people, so yeah. got all, all that sent out. All the winners have their things. Um, oh, I did get... I did get one other thing, but I have to pop the trunk to get it out. Okay, she's going to get out for a minute. We'll keep talking. Um, I have Girl Scouts to meeting tomorrow night. We're going to start planning for next year. And then after that, I get to hang out with my grandpa on Wednesday. Um, Thursday, Friday, more baseball. And then it'll be the weekend. And believe it or not, I have nothing planned for the weekend. Nothing. I hope it stays up. We all know how that works. It's not gonna. But I'm going to really try hard to keep it open with nothing planned. Um, what else can I talk to you about? I got a whole lot of nothing. My daughter Skinny Pig is doing great. Um, for those that follow on Instagram, you've seen me take him to work with me the other day. It's quite interesting to have him there squealing. Um, it's what we call, we, we work on an RDO schedule, so um, people work the 980, and then they have every other Friday off. I don't. I work straight eights, so I'm always there. Um, and so he, it was just me and one other girlfriend that was at work, but he was squealing, and I had to warn her because I had to step out. I told her, hey, when you come in, don't be afraid. There's not mice in my cubicle. And, you know, I brought the guinea pig. And she said, you brought a guinea pig to work with you? Seriously? And I was like, yeah, I wasn't driving home. So he had a blast. I enjoyed him. He got to see all the kids. The kids were so excited to see him. Um, as you can see, mom's digging through the trunk. I have no clue what she's about to get out. She appears to be getting all sorts of goodies. Something with a lot of thread. Um, yeah, so filming from a car is a little different. A little different. Okay, here she comes back. <laughs> My hat. Okay, so you've heard about everyone talking about the silks with uh, silky petites. I got, oh, there's a shadow. I got this set. Okay. And I got this set. What's the difference? All 66 solid colors and 14 blendables. And this is the dream assortment number two. Ooh. <laughs> So, so what do you do? You stitch like you normally do? Just You only need one strand of that. It's like having two strands. So, you know, like most of them you have to separate. Yeah, you don't have to separate. No. You so, just but it's use like those. having two. So it's not one over two. It's two over two when yeah. you use these. It's like having two over two, but you right. only use one. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Is it smoother? They or say it, well, so they just said it, it looks really good. It's thicker. I just don't like, you know, when you're using it and then it like starts to fray. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like that. However, um, Stitching and Sequence from the Arizona retreat that you mm -hmm. went to had given out wax, different shaped wax. <laughs> anyway, and I started McKenna. using it. McKenna, that's her name. I started using the wax and it really helps that fraying of the material or of the string I like I like using the wax except for I don't like using it on white and I don't like using it on black when I use the wax on my white it turned it like a faint yellow I mean nobody else would notice this it's because beeswax is yellow but I yeah and I didn't I don't like that so I gotta figure something out for the white and then the black it leaves like like residue on the black so the black looks a little dull I just set it in the window of my car while I was working and it melted it off Probably not ideal, but that's what I did. I left a napkin over the top of it, and I left it in the car to see if it would take that sheen, like dullness off my black, and it did. Just don't leave the... Oh, I didn't. I took the wax in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's one I've been trying to reshape. <laughs> the kids keep asking, like, what is that, Mom? <laughs> yeah, we're not having that discussion. <laughs> if you went to Stitch Nanigans, you know exactly what I'm talking about. 
anyhow, well, this is kind of cool. Yeah. And you haven't tried it yet? No. But Lisa has. Lisa Ruscom? Yeah. I okay. got her a set. Or and she ordered a did set. Did she tell us. you her review on them? She so. loves them. She just said that they're not quite too, like for 32 count, uh -huh. they're great. Okay. But if you got went to 28, she said it's not quite a double. Like enough coverage. Yeah. But she doesn't think. For her taste. Yes. Okay. So, but if you went to, like, I really like 36 count even weave. Would this be too thick? Because I like single I strand know. on 36. You might try it. Maybe I will. With what you just got. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll give this a She's whirl. She's going to go shopping. Yeah. Look, her mama's out of the Out of mom's trunk. <laughs> I might have to give this a whirl just to see and then be able to tell you guys how I like it or don't on my, I really like 36 even weave. I like the smaller stitches. I don't like one over one, right. especially on 36, but even the bigger stuff, the one over one, mm -mm. but I like one over, two. one over two, yes, one over two on 36 count evenly. I, I just, I think that's my niche. I was told that everybody finds kind of their thing and um, you've got enough colors here, kind of a random squirrel moment. <laughs> I'm going to try to hold this up. Can you guys see this? Hold on. I, I just, got, they should be. They come yeah. across. They come apart. Oh. Well, that's okay. We can take it apart. Okay. There we go. Look at this. Now, this is one box that has them in it. Okay. That one, the other one's not open. The other one's not open. Okay. Well, that's what I was trying to one. do. But yeah, we can show them this way. Okay. There's all these colors. <laughs> okay. And, and then, the and behind this sticker right here, I do not believe there are any colors. No, there's not. That's the same one. There as might box. be one or two. But that's it. So what is the big difference between the two? Because that one kind of looks like you're getting... Variegateds are different and darkers. That. And then on this one, the naturals. There's not as many, like, see, there's some mobs. This and reminds greens. me of my grandma. More of the mobs, the purples, the light colors are in this one. And this one is more the, um, more of like traditional solid colors. So I would say if you're looking for... The traditional colors that are generally seen in cross stitch you want the silky petites cotton blends that one if you're looking for more of a um, clouded lighter colors it seems that would be your number two the dream assortment number two they're kind of they're lighter looking don't you think because these ones look real like dark and all sorts of shades of brown anyhow that's my personal take on it. I may just have to borrow one of these to try that new pattern and to see how I like it. Okay, be ready for that review. Oh, I also, not the vehicle, is it the vehicle? I had and bought some more of those ballpoint, no, ball, yeah, ballpoint needles that mom uses. I went and bought like 10 of them because I was stitching and switching colors so often that I had to undo it and then put it in, mm -mm. so I bought a couple those those are another haul. she didn't see that i had 10 hanging on the, the light so thank you <laughs> i do occasionally buy my own stuff all right well i don't have anything else nope. i already explained our weekend and our plans i got a massive sunburn it's bad my skin does not agree with the sun and we will be there saturday and saturday this coming saturday 10 a.m at the yard house we will be sitting there yes maybe i'll work with these on saturday that's a good idea. That's a good idea. All right, then. I just told everybody on the... I just told you guys not even 10 minutes ago when Mom was out in the trunk how, oh, I have no plans for the weekend. I'm going to try to keep it that way. See? Told you. <laughs> it's already changed. Well, and I also got two quilts back. Oh. Well, maybe we'll show those next video. Yeah. And then, um, maybe we'll do something at the yard house. Yeah, we'll do a floss tube at the yard house. Sounds with good. With our newly met friends. Yes. We're hoping, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Hoping to meet you this weekend. Yes. If you are available, again, we do realize it is Memorial Weekend. So um, it may be a little difficult to get people out, but we are still planning to be there. And I was asked if I knew of any, someone was going to San Diego, and I can't remember who she was. She's going to San Diego for next weekend, I believe, or the weekend after. And she asked me if I knew any shops close to San Diego. Mm -hmm. With um, our zip code, People think we're in San Diego, but we're not. 
we're like four hours from San Diego. Definitely four so hours north of San Diego. If any of you guys know of a good shop close to San Diego, if you could post it below so that she could um, see. Right. So and I'll tag her in it also. But if you could let us know, I would appreciate it. Gonna stick Anything a friend else? over some fun shopping yes. in San Diego area. Um, no, I think that's about it. We have a very large rain cloud right over here coming in. It's going to get cold. Really. Oh, yay. <laughs> I think it's a soup kind of dinner. I think you're right. All right. Well, it was nice hanging out with you in the car. Yes. We hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And some of you will see you on Saturday. Bye. Bye. It's the fourth Friday. No, or it is for Saturday. <laughs> so, so, turn on Instagram. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's my brother. <laughs> <laughs>